Well, what's up you guys, Matt here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing this Phoenix Pro wireless microphone system. And full disclosure, I did get this product for free in order to do this video, but it won't be affecting anything I say. So let's get right to it. So in the box, we have user manual, warranty card. Here is the main device itself. And this is once again, the PTU 5200. Got the logo here. We've got four volume knobs on the front here, and we've got all sorts of stuff on the back here. We've, we've got our balanced output for A, balanced output for B, C, D, and then a mix out and our power input. We've got our antennas here that simply just clip on the back of the device. You just insert it and twist and then it locks right in. And then you can fold these antennas up and rotate them. And now we have a bunch of fun treats. So this is for the most part symmetrical because we have almost two of everything. We've got our headsets here. We've got our two um, foam windscreens for the microphones. Eight included AA batteries, gotta love it. Lavalier mic one, lavalier mic two. Wireless pack one, wireless pack two. Power supply for the main device. A mono quarter inch male to quarter inch male cable. And it does come with a adapter to get one of the ends down to eighth inch. Wireless microphone one and wireless microphone two. Both of these also need two batteries. And then we do have this little two pack of clips that can go in the microphones where these make it so the microphones don't roll. These type of uh, rubber clips that you can slide onto the microphone. Here's what they look like installed. So here's everything included all in the same frame. We've got the two headsets here, the two lav mics here, the two wireless packs, the two mics, the two foam for the mics. Then we've got our quarter inch cable power supply for the main device, and then we've got our main device. The headsets and the lavalier mics have these really pro locking ports that go into the pack and lock right in. This is super ideal so you have no accidents of stuff pulling out by accident. So let's try the headset first. 547.4, check, check, check. I see that's actually lining up for channel B. So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna switch to output B. All right, so I've got the headset working. Don't mind my headphones so I can also hear myself at the same time. The headset is super sensitive. Looks and sounds great. Really practical, easy to set up. And once again, the locking pack, big fan of that. All right, and now I'm talking through the lavalier mic. I got it clipped onto my shirt here. And once again, so easy to set up, simply just plugged right into the pack. And then there are volume buttons on the right here, and then there's set buttons on the left. So you do have volume buttons on the pack and you have this volume knob on the main device. Lavalier mic sounds great, super practical for shooting videos, for public speaking and so on. And now for the wireless microphone, here's what it sounds like. It was very easy to set up. There's an on or off button that you can hold on the front and that just turns it on or off if you hold it, but if you tap it, it mutes it. And then if you unscrew this part here, there's a set button and then volume down, volume up, and the volume can only go between one and five. And I currently have it on two because I usually talk pretty close to the mic. And then as for linking the frequency, this is my favorite thing about this device. The frequencies are always linked from the microphone or the wireless pack to the device. It's always synced. And if I hit set, the frequency changed on the microphone and the device. That is awesome. You don't ever have to go and change both. You only have to change it on either the wireless microphone or if you're using the lav mic or the headset, then you would just change it with the pack that's powering that. And once you hit set on this pack, so two wireless mics and two packs, each of them have their own designated channel, A, B, C, D, and they are permanently synced with the device. You don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is adjust the frequency if you're having interference problems and just change it. So I hope this video shows you exactly what to expect with this Phoenix Pro wireless system. I'm a huge fan. It's so useful for so many different things and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.